Hi, I'm David, and welcome to another video demonstrating the smart, convenient features of the AgSense mobile app. This time, I'll show you how to create speed and end gun tables. Compatible devices can control speed percent, application rate, end gun state, and aux application rate by the use of various data tables. To use a table, first enable table control in the speed end gun or aux component by selecting the appropriate mode. At this point, if the desired table is represented in the graphic, the command is ready to be sent from the pending command drawer. Touch the table graph. If you're controlling speed or an end gun, this will open the table selection panel. If controlling an aux table, you will see the table editor. Here you see two main sections. The top section lists any tables that are currently active. The bottom section lists other tables that you can select and activate. Each AgSense device maintains its own unique list of tables. To make a table active, first touch the Select button, then close the table selection panel by selecting Done at the top left corner of the screen. Note that a table is not active until sent from the pending commands drawer. To edit the data in a table, touch the Edit button. This will open the table editor. Next, find the list of parameters under the Edit Table Options menu and touch a box to modify its value. Parameters include the table name, direction, edit table rate. Note that not all parameters are available for every type of table. Next, touch a row in the table Data to modify its values. You can change the value by using the angle adjustment buttons or angle slider, or by touching the map graphic and dragging the slices around. Notice that the graphic on top updates to give a representation of the table data each time a row is modified. To add angles to the map graphic, touch the graphic or angle indicator button in the Edit Tables Options menu to add angles around the pivot graphic or slide a row to the left to delete that value. After all the desired data has been entered, press the Save button to submit any changes that you've made. By now, you should be able to create tables for speed and end guns. Watch our additional videos in this series to help you see how simple and effective remote management of your irrigation equipment can be. Thank you.